Di mana sahaja anda ada absen di masyarakat Rabudi. Hello, good people. It's your GBE from MSD, and we're back with another tutorial video for the channel. I hope you guys are good. I'm also super good. So, guys, in today's video, we'll be doing mathematics for grade 11, conducted by Twitter Matoma. So, guys, sina kuna maje MSD seventy. Now we're about to eat clean. So, we're going to go to now. We're lost. We're going to be ready because it's time for you to get educated. Let's get to the lesson, guys. Hi guys, I'm doing exponents and sats. Uh, it's a continuation from grade 10 exponents. So, loss of exponents. Grade 11, I'm just explaining additional loss from grade 10. So, a to the power negative n is equals to 1 over a to the power n. We know any number to the power of negative exponent is written as a fraction. So, a, b, all raised to the power negative n is going to be 1 over a, b, all raised to the power n, which is 1 over a to the power n, b to the power n. Example, if we have 2x, y, all to the power negative 3, is going to be 1 over 2xy all to the power 3, which is equal to 1 over 2 to the power 3, x to the power 3, y to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 is 8, so it's 1 over 8x cubed, y cubed. So a over b all raised to the power negative n is equal to b over a all to the power n which is a b to the power n over a to the power n. So if we are given 2x cubed y squared over a to the power 4 b, all to the power negative 2, it's going to be a to the power 4 b over 2x cubed y squared all raised to the power 2 to get rid of the negative side. So we swap the numerator and denominator. Uh, why? Check. We know uh, a over b raised to the power n is going to be b to the power n, a to the power n. So a over b all to the power negative n is the same as a to the power negative n over b to the power negative n. And any number to the power of negative exponent is written as a fraction is 1 over a to the power n divided by 1 over b to the power n. So division side, we change it to multiplication side. And then we swap 1 over b to the power n. So it's going to be 1 over a to the power n multiplied by b to the power n over 1. We multiply numerators and denominators. So is b to the power n over a to the power n. So any number to the power of uh, a fraction raised to the power of negative exponent, we swap the numerator and denominator. Rational exponents. a to the power 1 over n. The exponent is a fraction because a rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction. It's going to be n root a. So x to the power 1 over 3 is going to be cubed root x. y to the power 1 over 4 is going to be fourth root y. So a to the power 1 over n multiplied by b to the power 1 over n is going to be a b all raised to the power 1 over n because from grade 10 a to the power n b to the power n is equals to a b all raised to the power n 
So, 1 over n is a rational exponent. Therefore, it's n root a, b. If we have x to the power 1 over 2, y to the power 1 over 2, is going to be x, y, all raised to the power 1 over 2. And 1 over 2 is a square root of x, y. It's going to be square root x, y. There's imaginary 2 because we remove the square root sign by 1 over 2. a to the power negative 1 over a is equal to a to the power negative 1 all raised to the power 1 over a. So negative 1 multiplied by 1 over a is negative 1 over a. So it's going to be a to the power negative exponent is 1 over a all raised to the power 1 over a. So is the end root 1 over a. So if we have x to the power negative 1 over 4, is going to be x to the power negative 1 all raised to the power 1 over 4. So x to the power negative 1 is 1 over x all raised to the power 1 over 4, which is fourth root 1 over x. So if we have 2 to the power negative 4, 1 over 3 is going to be 2 to the power negative 1 all raised to the power 1 over 3, which is cubed root 1 over 2. Because of 2 to the power negative 1, we write it as a fraction. a to the power m over n is equals to a to the power m all raised to the power 1 over n. So m multiplied by 1 over n is m over n is n root a to the power m. So if we have x to the power 2 over 3 is equal to x to the power 2 all raised to the power 1 over 3. 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. So it's cubed root x squared. So if we have y to the power 6 over 5 is going to be y to the power 6 all raised to the power 1 over 5. 6 times 1 over 5 is 6 over 5. So is the fifth root y to the power 6. If we have 8 to the power all raised to the power 1 over 3. 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3 all raised to the power 1 over 3. Therefore, we multiply the exponents. Is 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. 3 cancel with 3, then is 2. a to the power negative m over n is equal to a to the power negative m all raised to the power 1 over n. So, a to the power negative m is equal to 1 over a to the power m all raised to the power 1 over n. So is n root 1 over a to the power m. So if we have x to the power negative 2 over 3 is equals to x to the power negative 2 all raised to the power 1 over 3. So is 1 over x squared all raised to the power 1 over 3. So is cubed root 1 over x squared. So if we have y to the power negative 7 over 9 is equal to y to the power negative 7 all raised to the power 1 over 9, which is 9 root 1 over y to the power 7. Simplification of such n root a multiplied by n root b is equal to n root a b. Remember, n root a is the same as a to the power 1 over n. Multiply by n root b is b to the power 1 over n. So is equal to a b all raised to the power 1 over n, which is n root a b is equal to n root a b. So if we have 
square root of x multiplied by square root of y is going to be x to the power 1 over 2 multiplied by y to the power 1 over 2 which is xy all raised to the power 1 over 2 therefore it's a square root of xy so if we have cubed root of a multiplied by cubed root of b is going to be cubed root a b so uh, fourth root 2 multiplied by fourth root 6 is going to be fourth root 2 times 6 and 2 times 6 is 12 therefore it's fourth root 12 n root a over b is equals to n root a over n root b check n root a over b is the same as a over b all raised to the power 1 over n and is equals to a to the power 1 over n over b to the power 1 over n so a to the power 1 over n is n root a over b to the power 1 over n is n root b so if we have a uh, cubed root of 2 over 5 is going to be cubed root of 2 over cubed root of 5. So if we have 4th root of x squared over y squared, check, is the same as x squared over y squared all raised to the power 1 over 4. So we multiply the exponents. Is x to the power 2 multiplied by 1 over 4 over y to the power 2 multiplied by 1 over 4. So is the same as 2 multiplied by 1 over 4 is x to the power 1 over 2 over y to the power 2 multiplied by 1 over 4 is y to the power 1 over 2 and x to the power 1 over 2 is the square root of x over the square root of y and root a to the power m is equals to a to the power m over n y check n root a to the power m is a to the power m all raised to the power 1 over a therefore we multiply exponent m multiplied by 1 over n is a to the power m over n so cube root of x to the power 2 cube root of x to the power 2 is equal to x to the power 2 over 3 so cube root of 8 is equal to 8 is 2 to the power 3 all raised to the power 1 over 3 so we multiply the exponent 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 is 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 3 cancel with 3 we are left with 2 so fourth root of y to the power 8 is going to be y to the power 8 all raised to the power 1 over 4 we multiply exponents is y to the power 8 multiplied by 1 over 4 which is y to the power 8 over 4 and 8 over 4 is 2 so it's y to the power 2 m square root n root a is equals to m n square root a check is the same as n square root a all raised to the power 1 over m and n root a is a to the power 1 over m all raised to the power 1 over m so we multiply exponents 1 times 1 is 1 n times m is n m so it's going to be a to the power 1 over n m therefore is n m root a example our cubed root fourth root of x is going to be 12 root x y check is fourth root x all raised to the power 1 over 3 therefore is x to the power 1 over 4 
all raised to the power 1 over 3. We multiply numerator and denominator. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 3 is 12. So it's x to the power 1 over 12, which is 12 root x. I've explained all laws of rational exponents and sats. So now I'm solving uh, some problems with you guys. So check. 4 to the power 1 over 2 multiplied by 4 to the power 3 over 2. So remember, 4 is the same as 2 to the power 2 all raised to the power 1 over 2 multiplied by uh, 4 is 2 to the power 2 all raised to the power 3 over 2. Therefore, we multiply the exponents. It's going to be 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 over 2. So it's the same as 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. 2 cancel with 2. We are left with 2 times 2 cancel with 2. We are left with 2 to the power 3. And 2 to the power 3 is 8. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by 8. Therefore, 2 times 8 is 16. 8 over 27 all raised to the power 4 over 3. So 8 over 27 all raised to the power 4 over 3. Remember, 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3 over 27. That is 3 to the power 3 all raised to the power 4 over 3. 4 over 3. So now we multiply the exponents. It's 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 4 over 3. Divide by 3 to the power 3 multiplied by 4 over 3. So 3 cancel with 3 and 3 cancel with 3. So it's 2 to the power 4 over 3 to the power 4. So 2 to the power 4 is 16. Over 3 to the power 4 is 81. Uh, cubed root of 8a to the power 6 over 125b cubed is going to be 8 is 2 to the power 3, a to the power 6, all over to 125 is 5 to the power 3, b to the power 3, all raised to the power 1 over 3. So we multiply exponents. It's going to be 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3, a to the power 6 multiplied by 1 over 3, divide by 5 to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3, b to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. So 3 times 1 over 3, 3 cancel with 3. 3 times 1 over 3, 3 cancel with 3. 3 times 1 over 3, 3 cancel with 3. So 6 multiplied by 1 over 3 is 6 over 3, which is 2. So it's going to be 2a to the power 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. Divide by 5b. So 3, square root of 3, multiplied by square root of 4, all divided by 12, all to the power 2. Remember, square root of 3 times square root of 4 is square root of 12, divided by 12, all raised to the power 2. And we remove the square root by 1 over 2, so it's going to be 12 to the power 1 over 2, divided by 12, all to the power 2. So we're going to multiply exponents. So it's 12 to the power 1 over 2 times 2 divided by 12 to the power 2, which is 2 cancel with 2. 1 over 2 times 2, 2 cancel with 2, are left with 12. Over 12 squared is 144. Therefore, it's going to be 12 divided by 144 is 1 over 12. So 3 times 2 to the power x plus 6 divided by 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 4 is going to be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus um, 6 is 3 times 2 divided by 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1 plus 4 is 2 to the power 2. So check, we have a common factor of, of 3. So it's going to be 3 into 2 to the power x plus 2 divided by, we have a common factor of 2 because of 2 to the power 
2 is the same as uh, 2 times 2. So I can write it as times 2. So that I have a common factor of, of 2. So it's going to be 2 open bracket 2 to the power x plus 2. Why? Because 2 times 2 is 4. So now 2 to the power x plus 2, 2 to the power x plus 2, they cancel. I'm left with 3 over 2. Easy, guys. Okay, guys, that was it for today. I hope to gain a lot. And guys, like it's MS Day, we don't need it just like that. with my and some word of advice. So, guys, everyone has dreams and dreams to fulfill. So, you didn't choose that medicine and science subject because it's a mistake or you want to satisfy. But you chose that because you want to pursue some type of career inside there. So, to get in that level, always work very hard and always put your mind in a game. Remember, everything starts in your mind and then followed by your actions. So so in everything or every decision that you take in life, if all of us are still on a man, they got you stress, and then we will get the future away, and then you will see everything will go straight, just like that. So guys, if you're new to the channel, also like the video, please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for new updates. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. I told you that. Facebook. Just search MSD Math Science Daily. We share some links and register to our YouTube channel. Just like, comment, share, and keep on learning. From your GBE from MSD to you guys, so meet again with another tutorial for the channel. Peace.